I'm gonna do a, a short brief tutorial on how you can do a good vocal mix. Um, I'm gonna use for a reference my vocal for an upcoming song that I made. It's called Thunderstorm. So pretty much this is the vocal. So far I just cleaned the pops and the clicks and the vocal here is tuned. So these are more like uh, it's very uh, standard stuff that I did in cutting manually every uh, click and strong breath and, and stuff like that. You can find the way back home The feet under control Oh, I'll be watching you oh, oh. So basically this is the vocal um, I loaded this one into my mixer and from here I started uh, mixing it and what I have on my chain is a limiter I put I did put a noise gate in this one with a very very low threshold setting the preset uh, noise gate uh, you can find a noise gate with another plugin if you are not using FL studio but it's very minor because the singer I think recorded in our home studio so it wasn't so optimal I could hear a bit of static white noise in the background so that's why I did this to make sure there is none of that. Then I added an EQ. Oh, I'll be watching you. Oh. For this one, I used the preset vocal presence and I just lowered the the highs a bit because they were too boosted in the preset. And this one, it takes out oh. a bit of those uh, very muddy frequencies that a female vocal has. And since the female is a bit thin, you don't really need these frequencies here. Then I added ozone, and in ozone I've used the vintage compressor. Uh, compressor. You can use any VST for compression. What I did is I let somewhat sharp, uh, somewhat of a sharp attack, and not so so much. But uh, also the release at sixty five milliseconds. These are not, uh, let's say, fixed rates because it depends on the vocal and the dynamic range of the vocal, but. I also don't want it to be too squashed and too flat, so, but I want it still to be kind of balanced, and I add this. Oh, I'll be one. This is probably the loudest part of the vocal, and here the threshold is as you can. Oh, see. I'll be watching you. Oh, oh. It's kind of just balancing the loud parts a bit, just a bit. And I added a dynamic EQ. I just took a bit of that low. Oh, I'll low be EQ. watching you. But only when they're strong and present. And oh, the... I'll be watching. Or the high mids, almost the high mids and the, the highs. After this, I did put another equalizer, just making sure I take off the very low end, but not too much. Oh, I'll be watching you. Oh. You still need this kind of muddiness in the in the vocal because it gives some body, and I think it's critical to have it as well. Oh, I'll be watching. Okay, after this one, I used a multiband compressor. I went on. Uh, I used the FL Studio one, but you can use any that you have. Uh, I use this preset that says vocal, and what I do is I only play with the gains of the compression. Oh, I'll be. The default was like. Oh, I'll be watching. But I felt it was two boxes, so in the mids I lowered the gain and I boosted the gain on the highs and it sounds uh, way more crispy and airy. Oh, I'll be watching you. For the lows, I said, oh. this one I kept it here. Uh, I don't have a reference track now, but I could also always go back in the end and reference it to my track and tweak the options of everything to get everything perfect. But I think for a standard vocal mix, what I'm going to go through I think it's going to help a lot of you, mostly that uh, are starting out and it's confusing to to make the vocal mix. But yeah, the most important thing when it comes to the vocal is make sure to have as good as, as a recording as possible from from scratch, because that's uh, that's going to make the major difference. And whatever you put after, it's extras. OK, so after my multiband compressor, I added a Maximus. Uh, Maximus, I used it for DSR. It has this preset that says DSR narrow band. And what I did is uh, oh. basically oh. for the master. Let's remove them all. Oh. Oh. So if we select, oh. Oh. I'll be watching you. Let's find a part that has an S. Watching you. Oh. 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 
Do you think there's nobody? Do you think there's nobody? Do you think there's nobody? And when the S hits, you can see it here. Do you think there's nobody? It's very strong, so I selected this band over here. <clears throat> Do you think there's nobody? Home? I just kept the S within the mid, Do you the mid knob here. Do you and then what I did went on. The, I went on the mids here, and Do I. Do you think there's nobody? Do you think? Uh, so. Do you think there's nobody? If I zoom this when the S hits, you can see. Do you think there's nobody? It kind of gets strong, so I don't. I don't want the S to be strong, so I with this curvature of uh, let's say, for the mids. Do you think there's no? I just cut off the S. If I wanted to it to be more intense and remove the S completely. Do you think there's no? Do you think there's? Do you think there's no? But I feel like you still need the S just that bit so it doesn't sound like an uh, like air only, you know. Do you think there's no? I I kind of feel it, it needs to be just that bit sharp, but not so sharp. Uh, and then after that, I added my neutron four, and in neutron, I added a sculpture. I don't think it's almost. Uh, uh, I don't think it's necessary always to add a sculpture and also the unmasking. But I felt since I have some VSTs, I I keep it at a minimal setting. Do you think there's nobody home? Do you think there's nobody home? Do you think there's nobody home? Why you were sleeping alone? Behind this kind of, it gets kind of rid of those bad frequencies, but I don't think these are a must, honestly. Then I boosted it. Do you think there's nobody? The highs again for just a bit more air, and I added just a very, very slight exciter to kind of squash, squash the vocals just a bit but nothing major. After that, I did place a limiter. Do you think there's nobody home? But I, I think I didn't end up using the limiting feature on this one, but usually what I do is... Do you I think there's nobody home? Put Why the you... limiter here because in certain cases, I have vocals that have, in all certain words, they have high peaks for no reason, but I just cut them. Uh, so, but this one is... Do more... you think there's nobody home? Why you were sleeping? Then I added the final EQ here. Do you think very very slight boost in the highs, uh, and then I use a peak controller in the end, but I use it for later because I I trigger my delay to the peak controller. I'm gonna explain later why I used it. So after this, I just linked my vocal to a reverb and a delay send. So what I essentially did on the reverb is I added the fruity reverb and made it. Um, 100% wet. Do you think there's no? I remove the dry from it. And in EDM, the decay is important to have at like three or four seconds. I kept it at three this time. And then you can play with the low cut of the reverb and the high cut, but I don't I do not uh, do it too much in here uh, because I use an EQ on the bus after. So. Do you think there's nobody home? On, on the EQ, I'm just doing like the basics of it though. But here on the EQ, I kind of lowered the frequencies of the reverb where the vocal is kind of more sharp because the reverb will come too, too much crispy, too loud. And I feel like you need it more for ambient, not necessarily kind of fight with the vocal itself. And then I just lowered vo the volume until a level that I felt was kind of right. Do you think there's nobody home while you were sleeping alone? Be honest, since you... Then I do the same. I link the vocal to the delay channel on on the delay i added pretty eq and i i use this uh, radio effect kind of make it just a bit thicker Do you think this and then from here i added the delay Do you think this no so what i did on the delay is i add ping pong and make sure the dry is completely off put it on four uh because i want the delay to repeat after the fourth uh uh, let's say after each bar technically and uh, make sure that your BPM on the project when you're mixing vocals if you're mixing them with the instrumental is the same as the project because then the delay will be on time and uh, what I did from here is just put the stereo somewhere in the middle because I don't want it to be too much left and right too much ping pong and then I put the cutoff maximum because I'm going to tweak the cutoff tweak the cutoff later with an EQ and just kind of put the wet, the gain of the wet. 
somewhere in here. There there's nobody home while you were sleeping alone. Be honest. Can I play with AQ because I kind of make make the delay more present here? There there's nobody home while you... Unless Madi, then I made uh, some stereo enhancement on the there delay. There's nobody... Kind of made it wider without being too much ping pongish, let's say. Uh, <clears throat> and then in the end, I added stereo enhancer, but I used only the volume knob for the delay here. So this is the master <laughs> volume control now for the delay. And what I did is link to controller, pick, and I do inverted 0 0.88. Uh, so what essentially this does is this just copies the curvature of this uh, signal here. Do you nobody home while you was... And in real time, it does. Do you nobody home while you was sleeping alone? Be so what this essentially does is that the reverb, the delay is playing only when the vocal has stopped. So you don't have delay while the singer is singing, but in these empty areas, there the delay will come out. The memories are doses, are doses. You can make it more uh, present, more harsh. I don't know. It, it depends on the song, I'd say. And then you tweak the volume until a, a level that you feel is right. The memories are doses, are doses. Oh, I'll... So before and after, real quick, real quick. Oh, I'll be watching you. Oh, now after. Oh, I'll be watching you. Oh, down, down, down. So yeah, this is pretty much a standard vocal chain that I use. You can use different VSTs as well, but uh, I feel like you can get the same level with different VSTs, uh, different orders. You don't necessarily have to follow me 100% on that one. 